Three years ago, Texas had never won a Big 12 pole vaulting championship, and then these two came along, Natasha Masterson and Caitlin Petrolos. Between the two of them have won the last three Big 12 pole vaulting titles, and now it's on to nationals. Okay, I have got to ask you both, what is the toughest thing about pole vaulting? I want to see if you agree. <laughs> Mentally. Yeah, mental. How much of it is mental? A lot. Almost all of it. Yes. I mean, you have to be in peak physical condition, but at the end of the day, it comes down to, do you want to put the pole in the box or not? So, Natasha, set me straight on this. You, this is actually the first time you've qualified for nationals, and yet last year you won the Big 12 outdoor title for the pole vault. How is that the case that this will be your first trip to nationals? Right. So, my freshman year, I, um, I had a brain tumor, and I was out my outdoor season. And then my sophomore year, I tore my quad at Texas Relay, so I was out for my outdoor. And then last year was my first chance to really make it for an outdoor national title, but I was beat out during the tiebreaker at regionals. So I was fighting for that 12th spot to make it, and I got beat out by Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it mean to you now in your senior year to have this chance? Um, it honestly means everything. This is my um, this is my career was on the line. You know, I'm a senior now. I do have eligibility for next year, but there was a lot riding on the way that the rest of this season played out, and this definitely helps with my decision for next year. Well, you're both local Texas products. Caitlin, you actually transferred back home I did. after a year at the University of South Dakota. You have a very impressive resume for your first year here, now setting school records indoor and outdoor, and you did both of those at the Big 12 Championships. What is it what is it about these championships that gets you in gear? I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> I want to win. Um, the postseason before um, Big 12s and everything, it was kind of rough, but getting in there, I, I'm pumped and I'm ready to go and I'm ready to PR and I'm ready to make it to nationals. So, and a score, of course, for my team. What will it mean to you to step on the national stage wearing burnt orange? Amazing. I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine, Natasha, you're, you have the same sentiments. Oh yeah, we, I mean, we want to be there together. Yeah. What is it like, pole vaulting seems like such an individual sport at times, but you two having a teammate there, what difference does that make? How much do you two push each other? A lot. It's, it's funny, the way that we come together, because I mean, we are two very different people, but when it comes to competing, we both get out there and compete, and we offer each other things that really help each other out. Exactly. Like, you know, I think I kind of mellow her out, and she keeps me in check, and you know, it's, Two very different dynamics, but they definitely come together, and I think they really complement each other whenever we're in competition. Caitlin, how do you describe Natasha's strengths? <laughs> she pushes me, honestly, to the fullest. Um, she does mellow me out in competition because I'm freaking out, and I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And she's like, start, we pretend we're, like, fighting and, <laughs> and the karate. We have ninja, <laughs> ninja <laughs> times. <laughs> ninja times. So I'm going to need to hear more about that. <laughs> We, uh, we, we did it in um, indoor season and Big 12s, and we started making ninjas moves. Because ninjas are awesome, and pole <laughs> Clearly. are awesome. So we just kind of put those together kind of deal. So we started doing some <laughs> ninja moves, and we just goof off. It's funny. I think we definitely annoy all the other teams. Really, we Because do. we're over there in solid burnt orange acting like fools. <laughs> and, you know, obviously we're doing well at the same time, so... It's a pretty good combination. <laughs> Talk about the mental advantage you yeah, have exactly. over everyone else. Now, I was going to ask, I know you're fluent in sign language. Thank so you. my question was going to be if you had signs that you would use to communicate with each other, but now I know about the ninja moves, so I guess. <laughs> well, funny thing is, Caitlin's <laughs> never taken sign language at Texas, mm -hmm. but she actually took it in high school. So I know what she's talking about. She knows a lot more <laughs> than most people do, so that's another advantage that we have is we like to talk to each other sign to each it. other <laughs> so can you sign something to each other for me what, what about that one thing that we did last time like jumping off the building oh um, <laughs> we were just exploring our our sign uh, depth and we were talking about jumping off things and, but if it's too high <laughs> then you die yeah and that's not good mm -mm. and we actually got filmed by um, an ex balter from um, the 90s, his name is Scotty Miller. He actually filmed us at a meet. Yes. We were signing <laughs> to each other and we had no idea and he put it up for like all his friends to see and it was, it was kind of funny. Pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is there some sort of pre-vault ritual that you two have? I don't think so. Mm -mm. No? No. Just, just ninja moves. Just, yeah, just ninja moves, that's about it. Ninja moves, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, we just um, really try to stay relaxed. And if anything, we go in there and we're just like, all right, like, you know, we know exactly how to pull vault. It's just we got to show up today. That's all we have to do is show up and get something done. So this will be your last meet as a Longhorn. Caitlin, when you think about uh, being on this team without Natasha, what will you keep that you've learned from her? My ninja moves, of course. Um, <laughs> pass those down. <laughs> yes, um, it's going to be fun to have. Um, we have two other vaulters coming in, so I'm going to take on Natasha's role of a ninja extraordinaire. <laughs> um, but it's it's going to be tough without her there. But I'm trying to get her to come back. First, <laughs> well, one last meet to uh, win it all. That's Thank right, you both yes. so much, and Thank good luck you. to you, Natasha Masterson and Caitlin Petrolos. Thank you. Thanks.